welcome back. So it's time to start using the fetch results controller. Creating it really wasn't much fun until you started using it, but it was going to be a really long video if I did it all together. So we're going to start using our fetch results controller. So what we want to do is we want to get rid of this array, right? So we're going to get rid of this array. So we're going to break our app like in a serious way just by commenting it out and then deleting it, right? Uh, but just before we delete it, let's prepare a couple things. So if you think about what this array did, is it just it helped organize the managed object, right? So it told us how many there were because we used the count in lots of places, and it also lets you get them uh, by index. So really, what I would like to do is I'd like to like make two uh, like methods that replace these features. Technically, one of them is going to be a uh, computed property, so a movie quote count is an int, um, and so this is how you get the number of objects that are in the fetch results controller. And then um, you also want to get things out by an index path. So we're going to make a method that receives an index path uh, and then gets them out. Um, and then I'm also going to cast it as a movie quote because I know it's a movie quote. So I'm going to make these two methods and then I'm going to seriously break this thing. So go ahead and find um, in, your, in your app the movie quotes array. And I'll just put them just below it, right? So I'm going to make a movie quote uh, count, uh, and it's going to be a computed property, which means it's not a stored property. They're different. I um, mean, it's just something you calculate um, in real time. And so what I'm going to do uh, to create this thing is I'm going to say fetch results controller. Um, it's got, the way it works is it works kind of like a table, right? It's got sections and rows. Um, so you have to say sections, because uh, I and I know that they're going to be sections, so I'm going to say exclamation point. And in fact, the only section I care about is section zero. Um, and then inside the sections is all the data about that section. Um, and then they have a number of objects. It's funny, there's a lot of things in here. I didn't expect this many. A uh, number of objects, and so that's how you get the count. And then the other thing that I'd like to do is I'd like to make a method. So we're going to say func get movie quote at index path. And then, of course, we need to pass in an index path. Uh, if we want to get something out, and the type on that is ns index path, and then we're going to return a movie quote, right? And so that's the whole point of this method. And we didn't have to write this method; we could just write the code inside of it whenever we needed to get one. But I think it cleans it up a lot if we if we just kind of abstract away this very common task. So the way we do that is we say fetch results controller, uh, and then I think it's objects at index path. Uh, and we pass in an index path, and then I'm just going to cast that to be a movie quote. There we go. Now the real fun begins. Uh, so now we're going to seriously break it, right? So just take your array and delete it. Uh, if you want to comment it out, that's fine. Um, and in fact, I'm just going to clean up some of this other nonsense. And I mean, you'll you'll notice like on the right hand side here, uh, deleting the array causes some big problems, right? Um, and so we're just going to go through and we're just going to kind of fix them. Uh, so the first problem is in update movie quote array. Um, you know what? That's actually really easy to fix because I want rid of that whole method. So that, that fix that problem. That of course causes more problems uh, because now there's a problem up here where you called it. Um, and we're, we're just kind of going through and we're fixing things. We don't want that. Uh, we don't need update movie quote array. I'm just going to delete it because we have a copy of it where, the, where it was present. We're just going to go through and fix things, right? Um, so here is a update movie quote array. I uh, don't need that anymore. Uh, here is a self dot movie quotes count. We're just going to change those to be movie quotes count. Uh, it looks like I made it uh, singular movie quote count. Uh, I probably should have made it plural, but oh well, it's singular now. Uh, and then this one, same same deal. So movie quote count. Uh, so I mean, we can fix most of these just by changing them to uh, you know count. Uh, eventually, there's going to be some that use our function as well. Count. Uh, here's one that uses our function. Uh, so here's how we got it before. And so the way we're going to get it now is we're just going to say get uh, movie quote uh, at path. And then we're just going to pass in the index path. Note that we're going to pass in the whole index path, not just the row, uh, because that's how fetch results controllers work, right? Like they're set up specifically for tables, right? So you just pass in the index path. It's easy peasy. Uh, so here's another count one that we need to fix. Uh, quote to delete. Uh, so this is going to be another one where we have to have to use our getter, right? So get movie quote and index path. 
and we just pass in the, the index path again. Uh, same speech as before, delete the row. Um, save and then update the array. We'll just get rid of the array. Uh, and then the count, we'll replace with that. And I mean, it's kind of tedious at this point. Um, so here's where we got the movie quote uh, from the array. Now what we need to do is we need to get the movie quote from the index path. Uh, and sure enough, we've got an index path here again. Uh, and then there we go. So now we are using a fetch results controller. There are other little issues that are still coming, um, but we've done we've done most of the work. To be honest, I kind of expected this to work. Um, the The problem is when you add something or delete something, uh, it quickly like adds and deletes the rows like right away. Um, and that happens before the fetch results controller has time to see that the data has changed, right? So the problem with this is is a timing issue, right? So here I've I've saved the managed object context, and then immediately below I've inserted the rows, um, and doing it without letting the main event loop run uh, causes a problem. So if I, if I say add right now, uh, so crash, uh, too bad, right? So I do that uh, and it crashes. And it gives us the speech that we've seen so many times before about the number of rows uh, in the index path. Uh, and that's that's too bad, right? And if you click on stop and you hit play, it actually is even worse than that, right? So you get another error immediately on launch. Uh, and this is because our cache is in a corrupted state, right? So that's why I was saying like, um, sometimes it's, it's easier just to pass in a cache of nil and then you wouldn't get little problems like that. Um, we we did, you know, we made I made this bed, right? So you just need to go into the simulator and you need to say reset content and settings. Um, and so you need to click on reset. And that's because we were using a cache and our crash kind of corrupted the cache essentially, right? Um, and so I had to actually reset my simulator, which means I lost my quotes that I had typed, um, all because of my, my whole wanting to do a cache. Um, but you know what, let's just do it right, and then we can use our cache and everything will be happy. So the problem is um, two places, right? So the problem when you create it um, is these lines right here. So go find, you know, create quote, and just comment them out. Uh, and then go find delete. Uh, so it's down under commit editing style, and you'll kind of see this pattern, and just comment it out as well. If we just comment it out, we're not going to get the rows at all. Um, the table's not going to refresh, and that won't be very exciting. The way you fix this is actually through getting a notification uh, from the fetch results controller, right? So actually, this time the model object does fire a notification uh, to tell us to go do something. And so we've commented these out, uh, but we're going to need to add one of those delegate methods for the, the fetch results controller. We're going to do it the simplest way first. We're going to add controller did change content, and whenever it changes, we're going to reload the table. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to my fetch results controller area, uh, and I'm just going to say controller, uh, and then I'm looking for did change object. So make sure there's two. Make sure you get did change object. And then anytime uh, there is a change, just say table view, uh, reload data. So we won't worry about animations at all. Um, we're just going to reload the data. So now I had to wipe out my app. Uh, so I'm just going to type some quotes. I'll put back Yo Adrian, uh, and you can see that works. Uh, I'll go ahead and put back in earmuffs from old school, uh, and then there I've got some quotes. Uh, note that interestingly enough, edit does still work. Uh, so if I edit something uh, and then I say back, uh, it all it all just works, which is really pretty neat, right? Uh, and if you stop the app and you hit play again, it, it's all still there. Oh, it looks like I'm missing my arrows. Um, shoot, I meant to do that like a whole bunch of videos ago. Um, you should always show an arrow to the left. Then I'm putting it into the longest video I've got. Um, so I meant to select this table you show, and there should be a chevron over here. Uh, it looks like I just forgot to do that. Um, so make sure you set the accessory uh, to disclosure indicator so that there's a little arrow can't believe you guys let me do that for so long without telling me. It's one problem with videos. Um, so there should always be an arrow over here uh, whenever you're going to drill down into something. Uh, glad I fixed it. Wish I'd fixed it many videos ago. Great.
So that's fetch results controllers. Uh, and we've actually got things that are going pretty well. The only thing we don't have is we don't have uh, animations, right? Uh, so next time, we'll just fix it next time. Uh, we'll add back our animations uh, so that we can get pretty little animations when we do things. I'm going to delete that because I don't like that one. Notice how it snapped. All right, see you next time. Bye.